to me, when I read Emerson, I think of that circle. Uh, I visualize it as Duke Ellington's orchestra. If Emerson was the god in America in the 19th century, Duke Ellington was in the 20th. Ellington presides over his diverse gang of voices, very much the way Emerson did. He's the liberator of all these individual uh, geniuses in his context. I think Thoreau is Billy Strayhorn, who was the guy from Pittsburgh who joined the band by accident, played for Duke Ellington, and Ellington loved it, said, we want you in the band. Strayhorn wrote for Ellington in ways that nobody can still figure out which is which. Billy Strayhorn is our encore. And the, there was an intimacy between them that I analogize to uh, Thoreau and Emerson. The idea of absolute respect for the individuality of these of these sounds and then the collective that was you know like Emerson traveling the country he was he was a itinerant performer too there was a sort of miracle of Concord Massachusetts how could you think of American uh, expression American experience American culture without the jazz tradition say or without the Concord transcendental, high literary, philosophical spirit. This is sort of shy patriot me. I mean, there's something absolutely inescapably American about these institutions that I, I love. I just love like crazy. You couldn't have this country in any meaningful sense without that energy. And it's not about to be forgotten, I don't think. <laughs>